Welcome back. Going in depth tonight, a new study by the CDC finds unsafe bedding remains a leading cause of unexpected infant deaths, despite decades of public health messages and safe sleep campaigns. And we're uncovering what parents need to know to keep babies safe while sleeping. And we're hearing from an upstate mother who was trying to tackle this issue after a heartbreaking loss. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer joins us live to tell us what she's uncovered and has some tips for parents tonight. Well, what I found out is actually quite alarming. According to the CDC, thousands of babies are dying of suffocation by stuffed animals, crib bumpers, blankets, and other types of soft bedding each year. And doctors say most of those deaths could have been prevented. No family should have to carry their child's casket. No family should have to grow up without a third of their heart missing. Catherine Martin's infant daughter passed away from accidental suffocation at her daycare. On February 21st, 2014, uh, Kelly Wren was allegedly wrapped in a blanket that was not hers and placed in a bassinet to go to sleep. She ended up suffocating on the blanket and passing away at three and a half months old. Martin has now turned her heartache into healing, making it her mission to educate caregivers and families about unsafe sleep environments to help prevent another tragic death. Every baby deserves to wake up um, and that is my mission. A study published last week in Pediatrics Journal found soft bedding was associated with 72% of cases of sudden unexpected infant death or SUID. The problem with bumpers, even the mesh bumpers, um, soft bedding, blankets, you know, stuffed animals under the age of one, their brain cannot tell them that, hey, I'm not getting enough oxygen, I should turn my head. We wanted to find out what parents need to know to keep sleeping babies safe and found these tips from healthychildren.org. Babies should sleep on their backs until their first birthday. Infants should sleep on a firm surface, like a crib or bassinet, along with a tight fitted firm mattress and fitted sheet. And bed sharing is not recommended for any babies. Now, despite decades of public health messages, including the Safe to Sleep campaign designed to prevent sudden unexpected infant death, SUID remains the leading cause of death for babies between one month and one year of age. Well, if, and if you'd like to find out more about Kelly Wren Academy, which her family started in her memory to help open safe, high quality home based child care, we have a link in our As Seen On section on the Fox Carolina app. Back to you.